just like setting a trap and seeing if this individual will, will get caught up in the trap. In Operation Crime and Justice, questions about whether the man police say hit and killed a 10-year-old girl on her bike, or I should say her scooter, will ever be brought to justice. Metro police believe that their suspect has fled the country. Fox 17 News' Kylie Walker in studio after police arrested the suspect's nephew, who they say helped his uncle cross the border. The nephew told police he drove his uncle from Nashville to Atlanta to buy a bus ticket to Texas so he could then cross the border into Mexico and continue into Honduras, where he's originally from. Now, that's the very place that has cut an extradition treaty with the U.S. 10 year old Emily Sanchez Ramirez tragically lost her life this month when police say 39 year old Walter Daenerys Zuninga crashed into her and her mother who were riding a scooter in a bike lane. The hit and run driver took off and is believed to be back in his home country. And this individual left and he's out of our grasp. There's nothing more frustrating for law enforcement and the family. Former FBI agent Scott Augenbaum highlighting the challenges for law enforcement ahead. If this individual decides he's not going to leave Honduras, there's really unfortunately not much that could be done. In late August, Honduras announced the end of a century-old extradition treaty with the U.S. after a dispute with an American diplomat. Going through Interpol, you were able to put a red notice in, which means if these individuals do travel to another foreign country that we have a relationship with, they can be brought back to the United States. So there is some hope that way. Earlier this month, Emily's father spoke with me through an interpreter. Jason Sanchez pleaded for the suspect to come forward. A person who is well aware of what they do, they don't do what he did. By having the kind of heart that he had of just hitting them and just leaving, leaving them. With the suspect's fate uncertain, Verna Wyatt from Tennessee Voices for Victims says this is a lasting pain. There's so many victims that never get their offender apprehended and they go decades with that pain because they want justice for their person that they love. It is a special kind of hurt and it never goes away. Now the suspect's nephew has turned himself in. Police say that he admitted to his involvement and is now charged with accessory after the fact along with other charges. For now reporting in studio, Kylie Walker, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.